I am uh, an Italian uh, filmmaker based in Beijing since five years. And I run a production company for virtual reality called Polyron VR Studio. We create immersive experience for the international market in China. Uh, working for the semantics ways, um, I bumped in another Italian company that works for uh, virtual reality design. It's called VR Cult. And we merged for the project that we are presenting tonight for the first time. Virtual worlds. Okay. Uh, what, what are virtual worlds? Uh, think about the internet as, was, as we know it now as a flat version of, the, of what is going to happen in the future. In the sense that you now we visit the pages uh, and they are basically documents. These documents have been three-dimensionalized, they became video and more. Uh, now think about uh, uh, walking in uh, the pages of the website like their rooms. And these rooms, they are in buildings, which are the website. These buildings is, are in a world, which is the internet. And uh, in this world, people can work, people can make friends, people can socialize, and this is the concept behind social VR. Now, social VR uh, is uh, theoretically part of uh, what we are talking about in these days here and in different conferences around the world. You know, I mean, part of the uh, virtual reality industry. But indeed, uh, you know, there is the idea that in social VR, they're going to collide all the parts of, of uh, virtual reality. And uh, the idea that we are bringing now is uh, a form of, uh, let's say, distribution for uh, all the immersive contents. So usually, uh, we talk around the world about what, where is the, uh, how is possible to create a distribution, to have distribution for immersive contents in the future. And probably social VR will, will be the answer, or one of the answers. And uh, there is several platforms that serve now as social VR. You probably know about uh, Spaces from Facebook. You probably know about Alt Fidelity, Alt Spaces VR, uh, VTime, Waves, uh, Cinespace, and uh, I'm talking about, tonight I'm talking about Sansar. Okay, to know what is Sansar, we have to do some steps back in the past, some years ago. Uh, did anybody heard about a platform called Second Life? Second Life is a desktop virtual world. It means that it's on the screen. You cannot get in with the headset. And it's been developed by a company in San Francisco called Linda Lab. In uh, around 10 years, Linda Lab has created a community of users and creators that live their life into Second Life, live a new existence, a parallel existence, an artificial existence into Second Life, where you know they uh, attend events, create events, create uh, areas, buildings where these events happen, and they uh, transfer fund for uh, around $700 million per year. And uh, this uh, is a model that Sego Life is bringing uh, since uh, its creation until now in a community of creators that they have the control of the, uh, the space and the platform is provided by Linda Lab. So Sansar is basically the immersive version of Second Life. It's a uh, most developed and uh, evolved graphically uh, version of Second Life and uh, is available for in, the, in its uh, beta version since a couple of months. Actually, this is the first time that our partners uh, are uh, introduced to the Chinese market. And um, the, the, okay, how does it work? Basically, Linda Lab provides for the platform. So the platform is Sensor. Then a group of creators is uh, building the areas where it's going to happen the existence of the user that are introduced into, into the virtual world. So this means that a group of creator that comes from Second Life and get the experience from Second Life chosen by Linda Lab get bring their experience to create the the, the uh, model of virtual estate 
that are going to be in, uh, in Sansar. So what does it mean, virtual estate? Okay, <clears throat> basically, uh, as the word says, is a real estate into the virtual world, into the virtual reality, which means that uh, we create uh, areas where people can, uh, again, attend events, create their own events, uh, do meetings with their work, uh, then, of course, trading, then uh, uh, spending their money, buying, selling their pro products, creating their pro properties. And these, uh, on models, they can be replicated in blocks, which is one of the main points of the uh, safe economy for uh, uh, virtual estate. Then another element for the virtual estate is the aim to a target population where to bring the users of the, of the platform. And foreseeing the trends for uh, the next models uh, to come. Okay, until, up until now, in the second life, Linda Lab, with his own economy, with his own legislation, and with his own value, has uh, uh, created an area of 32,500 square kilometers, which is an area basically uh, bigger than Belgium or Taiwan, to give you an idea. So if there is a country in this planet which is Second Life. The knowledge, the experience of Second Life now is transferred into Sansar through their creators. Uh, the uh, the work we are presenting now is to make possible that the properties that they are going to reach Sansar, they will have almost the same value of the real property that exists in real life. It means that you have your own houses, they have a value. So through a process of blockchain, we are trying to make it possible to, uh, to have the, 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 the virtual property as the same value, almost at the same value, uh, that the, 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 the property that actually is going to, is, uh, is going to actually be in the, in the real world. So the interest of the, um, of the users is to acquire lands. So you can buy territory and then build your own, uh, uh, your own design or design you know, by a group of creators uh, house, offices, buildings, uh, uh, stadiums, whatever you want, to make your own business, to create your own events, to sell your own products, to uh, improve your own property and have the complete control of the space. So as you can see here, uh, there is some example of what uh, VRCAT, which is one of the ten um, creators, company of creators of uh, uh, Sansar is able to, 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 to build in the virtual world. And uh, um, so in uh, okay, some other images, uh, VRCALT is presenting a new VRCALT and as to get, we are presenting a new project for uh, uh, working on the platform Sansar. So, now, why choosing Sansar and not another uh, social VR network? Okay, let me show you something. Uh, this is Spaces, the one by Facebook. This is uh, Alt Space VR, which HTC Vive, cho HTC Vive chose for uh, as devices. This is Sansar. This is the film The Matrix. And this is all together. You can see the difference. Uh, <clears throat> of course, you know, if we have to play, if we have to, uh, you know, do a video game, whatever it is, you know, it's okay to have doodle avatars. But of course, we, if we are playing seriously, there is a difference, there is a consistent difference. Okay, somebody probably will ask, you know, 
basically sunset is just a, a higher quality, a better level of a good looking platform. Well, not at all. This is just a box. Uh, the, the thing that we are here to present is the creation of a virtual elite. Let me show you more. Something is coming. Something revolutionary. And it's unlike anything the world has ever seen before. We call it Sansa. An entirely new platform that will take the world of virtual reality to the next level. With Sansar's unprecedented technology, everyone can create their own high-quality social VR experiences, no longer as VR limited to just professional developers and engineers. Creators can upload original assets from common 3D formats, repurpose existing content, or get new designs from the ever-expanding Sansar store. Sansar's easy-to-use tools allow users to add lighting, spatial sound, and scripting to bring a true sense of immersion to their creations. With the click of a button, creators can publish their work and then interact with others through detailed avatars. With Sansar, you'll have the power to share your creations with friends, colleagues, customers, or even the entire world. You'll have the power to collaborate with other creators and innovators to recreate history, to amaze and delight. Sansa is going to change the way we live our virtual lives, from education and commerce, to entertainment and live events. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination. Get ready, because the future of 3D creation and interactive social VR is coming. Welcome to Sansa, created reality. So, <clears throat> we are not saying that the other social uh, VR, they are going to fail, of course. Uh, okay, social networks like uh, Facebook or, you know, the, the, the Chinese social network, you know, they are for everybody. I mean, you go there, you, can, you don't make money through them. You can make money for, um, from advertising. You sell your image, but we are talking about something different. We don't consider the other social network as competitors, in the sense that what is our plan, again, is to create a virtual elite. Okay, this is, this is quite a puzzle concept what, for what we want to create, and it's not for everybody, of course. Uh, okay, let's think about being able to just wear the smart glasses, and uh, travel through time and space and to reach our business partners. Let's think about uh, forgetting all, all of the problems of time and space that we can face and uh, trading with something that, we are that is going to change our life. If we want to spend money in, uh, in a project like that. And I'm not talking about the money you can buy an at on Taobao. We're talking about a lot of money. Uh, for, do you think you will choose a platform which is new, which is developed since a few months, years, and they have everything to learn and everything to mistake and you want them to make the mistake with your money? Or you think it will be better to go through some, something that has an experience, that has the know-how, that passed through a lot of, again, mistakes, and they solve these mistakes, and then they get to the point to erase and improve. So the experience of uh, um, Second Life creators goes directly into Sansar, and it is a structure that is not possible to be recreated without, again, getting that experience. 
One of the parts is the privacy, in the sense that you are moving your properties, you are moving your funds, you are moving your own identity, your own virtual identity, into a space that gives you the privacy that you can, cannot even have in real life, inside of your uh, houses. And uh, there is uh, a control, complete, because you don't, will not have the problem of uh, uh, going through the limits that our life creates and going through the limits that social networks also they can care. Because you have the control and there is a social system, a legal system, and also you know education system already that controls everything and is transferred on the new platform. You have to consider that um, Second Life has been able to create a new country, a virtual country, with, again, you know, 700 million dollars per year of trading when virtual worlds were something that nobody knows about. I mean, now virtual reality is booming, and this is the immersive version of it. The experience is there. So no time and space, so in the sense that you will not need to uh, run for a... Uh, meeting somebody or wait a lot of time for uh, getting conclusion and uh, waiting for building your own property for creating what you want. So this project is the first step into something bigger. The intention we have is to create a space, an area, a community where the credit is not money, is not fame, it's not power, but it's human credits. You know, really often, uh, when we are exhausted, we say, oh my God, you know, bad pollution, you know, this, uh, whatever it is. I would like to go to live in another planet. Maybe a planet where the past of the world is, is not anymore its weight. Or we say we want to go to live in a desert island. Well, indeed, why doing this? There will be a world where to live when there is already regulation and where there is respect and harmony for everybody. This is what we are creating for a virtual elite of people that is willing to pay, to understand, and to follow rules that in a few decades will be the standard of human life, of the alternative for human life. So we are presented for the first time in the world this project in China, not only because I live here, but uh, indeed uh, in months we realized with my partner, which again, you know, is, uh, is one of the creators on the platform Sunset, that China is the perfect place for developing this kind of virtual world. The reason is the approach to technology, the interest that virtual reality has already in this country, the, the way that the value is changing. You know, already the crypto values, I mean, basically paying with WeChat or Alipay, just to, be, to make it easy, in China they are uh, they're real, you know? It's in Europe, it's unthinkable. And uh, so this structure and many other skills that China has make possible to put China in the leadership of the virtual world. You know, I'm Italian and uh, as artists and designers for a long time, we, we, we had, you know, the, 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 the leadership in some way. You know, we, we, we are famous for this. This is why people go to Italy for visiting. <clears throat> Video games are for the Japanese. Uh, cinema is Hollywood, it will be. They, they made the rules of the industry and they're still there. But for innovation, China is becoming one of the leading countries. And we truly believe that virtual world is the media that is going to give to China the leadership, the international leadership. This government is making the difference recently for creating harmony and peace all over the world for creating a world 
where everything is going to be safe. Well, with our project in technology, we are given one of the keys. And uh, we believe that it's possible through, of course, years of uh, uh, study and uh, development, but at the same time, we think that there is uh, the right approach in the, in the people of China for getting, for getting in this direction. So, uh, created some other images. And uh, one of the ideas for the creation of this uh, land is the development of smart cities. Smart cities where life goes safe again and in harmony. Smart cities where people can uh, work, can live, can enjoy their life without problem because they are self-governed. So, you know, um, we talk a lot now about smart cities. It, 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 smart cities is a concept established. It's an idea established. But indeed, you know, it's not yet practical, or not until now, you know. The, the idea that we are giving is to envision this kind of uh, areas where this kind of life will be, will be real and possible. And, uh, okay, we show some examples of the city where you want to live in, and you are part two. So, uh, this project that I'm, which I'm talking about, uh, as I said before, is not, is, is not possible to be copied. It's not possible to be repeated, because basically the structure passed through the creator of Sansar. Uh, of, Sansar. Uh, of course, you know, we uh, suggest to go through our creator, to go our team, you know, to start to test this kind of passage and basically is a pre-visualization of areas and the way they might work. But another step is uh, the education. It means that we want to present a project for teaching to young Chinese, and not, even, not, not necessarily young, to create their own spaces, to become, uh, to become creators. Uh, in, this is in the sense, it's not just uh, being able to use Unity or Real and Chai, you know, like that, that's basically the thing that a worker will do with the bricks. I'm talking about being designers and architect of the virtual world, starting from the concept and getting through what can be a new society. This is, uh, this is something that would appeal. Indeed, there is no Chinese creator on Second Life. So, uh, we are open to, to find partners here that they are able to foresee what is going to happen. Because this is a process which is unstoppable. And uh, we, we call this, uh, this project with something that is really far away in time. Uh, it is the name of all the continents when this planet Earth was really young, uh, they used to be called when they were together. So we present today Pangea. This is the name of our project, 